anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Hell of a deal you worked out with John, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. 
That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over... I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I was going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way, we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Huh. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days, I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, Life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, 
They deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Spooky how you handle that John guy. Didn't figure you'd know how to speak corporate. All you need to do is show them how getting what you want gets them what they want. You make it sound easy. Frankly, I just wanted to put a few rounds in him and leave. Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink, bit of a celebration, if you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and the list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave, and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Grandad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Alenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It 
won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. I'll take it in the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission-critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. 
I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. On my way.
Hostile contact. Enemy is everywhere! Oh, 